Okay, so for everybody that missed Friday, I'm going to go through the smart board presentation that I did with the rest of the class. We are talking about probability. Probability is the chance or likelihood of an event occurring. So, for example, if the weatherman says that there's a 50% chance of rain, that's a probability of rain. It could rain or it might not rain. There are two kinds of probability. The first is experimental probability. And this is probability that is based on experimental results. And we write the experimental probability is equal to the number of times an event occurs over the number of trials that we do. So I'm going to do a couple of examples of this. The first example is what is the experimental probability of spinning a red if we spin the spinner five times. So the first thing that I actually have to do is spin the spinner five times. So I got a green. And another green. And a red. And a yellow. And another green. So, to write the experimental probability, it is the number of times an event occurs. So, how many times did we get red? We got red one time. So, I put that on top. Over the number of trials. One, two, three, four, five trials. So the experimental probability of spinning red is 1 over 5. So my second example is what is the experimental probability of getting heads if we flip the coin 8 times? So the first thing we do again is flip the coin 8 times. Alright, so I got tails, heads, 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 <laughs> tails, 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 and heads. So to write the probability, we say number of times an event occurs, how many times did we get heads? We got heads four times. The number of trials that we did, well we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the experimental probability of getting heads is 4 out of 8. Alright, so final example of experimental probability. What is the experimental probability of getting a 3 if we roll the dice 10 times? So again, have to roll the dice. So I got a 6. Got a four, three, two, three, another three.
another six. One. And a six. So I think that's ten, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So the number of times that we got three, we got three, three times. And the number of times we rolled the dice, the number of trials, was ten. So the experimental probability of getting a three, if we roll the dice ten times, is three tenths. And the theoretical probability, this is the second kind of probability that we have, is the expected probability of an event occurring. So the number of ways an event can happen out of the number of possible outcomes. So the first example is the same as the other one. Um, what is the theoretical probability of spinning red? This time we look at the number of ways that we can spin red. Well. There's only one way we can spin red, and there is four possible outcomes. So the theoretical probability of spinning red is one-fourth. What is the theoretical probability of flipping heads? Well, how many different ways can you get heads? Just one. And what is the number of possible outcomes? Well, you can get heads or tails. The theoretical probability of rolling a three. Well, there's only one three on a dice. And there is six different sides. Because you can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Now, if I had a spinner, um, and I asked you what the experimental, or no, the theoretical probability, of getting a blue or a green. We would say that it would equal two, because there's two ways we can get either a blue or a green, and there's four possible outcomes. And I also wanted to show that this number, although we've been representing it as a fraction, which sometimes seems to be easiest, probabilities are also represented in percents. This would be 50% or decimals, 0 0.5. And uh, you need to be able to represent it in any of these three ways. It can also be represented as a ratio, which would be 2 to 4. And all of these ways of representing a probability are all equal. They all mean the same thing. So I hope you've gained an understanding about uh, probability and the difference between theoretical and experimental probability. So now let's go and apply what we learned today.